um, and welcome to this meeting. My name is Martin Barber. I'm a former UN official, happily retired. Um, and it's great to see so many people here. Uh, I should explain before I start that I'm a little bit blind. So I won't, in fact, I'm quite a lot blind. Um, so I won't see people raising their hands, but Irina has very kindly offered to assist with that. Um, also, those of you who are uh, taking part online, uh, welcome to you also. And if you have uh, questions that you would like to send in or very brief comments, uh, please do that and we'll try and um, come to them during the question and answer period. Um, we have four speakers, and I will introduce them shortly, uh, but I just wanted to say to start with that this event is the second in a series of events about humanitarian negotiations. And this one is entitled Humanitarian Negotiations Engagement with Armed Groups in Sudan and South Sudan. Um, and it's also to launch two reports, uh, one on negotiations in South Kordofan and another on Darfur. Uh, just before we start, could I ask you to hold your questions and comments until we get to the question and answer phase? Um, I'm going to ask our speakers to keep um, strictly to their 10 minute slot because I think that our experience with these events is that a lot of the most interesting um, discussion goes on in the discussion period and we don't want to fill up all the time that we have available uh, with the uh, introductory speeches. Uh, please, please also switch your phones off or to silent mode. Uh, if you're here in the um, audience. Um, but you can uh, tweet, um, and the hashtag for this event is, if I get this right, hum negotiation? Is that right? Okay. Okay. Hum negotiation. Good. Well, I think we, we're all very much aware that. Um, the conflict in, in Darfur has been going on for more than 10 years. Um, there has been conflict in Sudan, what is now Sudan and South Sudan, for much longer than that. Um, we now have uh, conflicts in South Kordofan and Blue Nile. And um, we have uh, serious humanitarian needs in uh, Jongle state in in South Sudan. Um, so there are huge challenges facing uh, humanitarian agencies working in the two countries. Um, and I think for many years, uh, many of them have struggled to engage effectively um, with communities that are in need of humanitarian assistance in rebel held areas. Today uh, we are going to look at the role of humanitarian negotiations with state and non-state armed groups um, in facilitating access to um, vulnerable communities in three locations, uh, which I've mentioned already. Um, we're going to start with South Kordofan. Uh, and then Darfur, and then Jongle. Um, many of you will know our speakers, um, and they have between them uh, a tremendous amount of um, detailed research and, and personal experience of working in, in Sudan and South Sudan. Um, I will introduce them uh, now. And then um, we can um, uh, 
hear them each in order. The first speaker on my left is Irina Mosul. Uh, she's a research officer here at the Humanitarian Policy Group and co-author of the first of the two studies, um, which is about humanitarian negotiations in southern Kordofan and Blue Nile. Um, sorry. She worked before um, coming to ODI, she worked for the German Development Service and for Safer World for six years in Sudan and South Sudan and she set up a number of uh, humanitarian and early recovery programs there um, and she has worked for uh, with various local organizations um, on the current humanitarian crises in southern Kordofan and Blue Nile. Um, Jonathan uh, Loeb, am I pronouncing it right? Can we hear you, Jonathan? I can hear you. Can you hear me? We can yes. hear you very well. That's great. Um, he is uh, at the moment in Toronto, Canada. Is that right? That's correct. Good. Um, and he is the author of the second of the two studies, uh, which is entitled Talking to the Other Side, Humanitarian Negotiations, with armed uh, groups in Darfur, Sudan, between 2003 and 2012. And if you haven't seen them, uh, both of these studies are available um, on the website. Uh, Jonathan uh, conducted, um, has been conducting research on conflict in Darfur and um, and has supported uh, conflict resolution efforts in the past six years. Uh, he served as managing director of an NGO 24 Hours Darfur and as an advisor to the African Union United Nations mediation um, efforts. Uh, our third speaker on my right is Nikki Bennett. Um, she has worked for OCHA, the UN Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, um, on humanitarian access and other policy issues uh, since 2009 in Pakistan, New York, and now in South Sudan. Uh, she's currently leading the access negotiations for uh, Jongle State uh, on behalf of the humanitarian country team. Uh, before joining OCHA, she worked at Oxfam's uh, roving emergency response team in more than a dozen major emergency response situations. Um, we're very grateful to Ivor Morgan, who's sitting on my left, uh, who has stepped in at the last minute because, uh, very sadly, Mike Mc McDonough, who was to have joined us from Addis, has had a family bereavement and is not able to, to join us, and we send our sympathy to, to him. Uh, but Ivor has kindly offered to, to, to step in, and he will be uh, the discussant. He will be commenting on the three presentations. Um, and he is a senior policy advisor for the South Sudan NGO Forum Secretariat. Um, previously, he worked... Um, yes, just, sorry, let me just find this. Um, he spent uh, seven years as Medair's country director uh, in Khartoum, uh, where he managed projects in um, both uh, Darfur and South Kordofan. Um, so we have, I think, a very um, well-qualified um, panel of speakers. 
and I'd like to ask Irina Mosul to, to start. 